In this video, I'll show you how to download Zoom recordings and how to also recover any recordings that have been deleted from your account. To get started, you'll want to sign into your Zoom account by going to zoom.us and then select the My Account button on the top right side. Now on the left side of the screen, you'll see the recordings option. We'll select that. And now I can see any recordings that have been recorded directly to the Zoom cloud. Over here on the right hand side, I see the trash and I have one recording in there. So to recover that recording, I'm gonna click on trash. So I can see my recording here. And now I'll click on the recover button and then confirm that. I see at the top that it was recovered. So now if I go back to the recordings page, that recording is now in my main account. Now to download these files, I'm going to click on the more button to the right side of the recording and then choose the download button. The system will prompt me to download two files here. One is the audio transcript and one is the actual recording as an MP4. So I'll save that and I'll save the transcript as well. And I can see that over here on my desktop, both the video file and the transcript have saved. It's a good idea to verify that it has downloaded correctly. So just open up the MP4 file in your chosen media player. And then you can just click through to verify that the screen share is coming through, that any video you may have attached is showing up with your webcam, and that the audio is also working as well. So once you have downloaded your files from the Zoom website, it would be a good idea to back them up either on OneDrive or onto a USB key or an external hard drive, just so you have a safe copy of them. To upload them to your OneDrive, You'll first sign into Office 365, and then you'll select uh, the Waffle menu on the top left, choose OneDrive. And now from here, you can either drag and drop them. So I can drag my file directly into here, or I can click on the upload button, select files, and then browse to my file that way. So for ease, I'm just gonna drag and drop it in. I can see up here on the right, it's uploading that file. So it will take some time depending on how large the file is to upload. And then it will be available in your OneDrive to either download again or you can share it as necessary. You can also directly upload your lectures into Brightspace. Since they are an MP4 file and they're usually small enough, it's easy to transfer them in. All you need to do is go into your course, go to content, select the module where you want the file to be added to, and then you can either do the new upload files and browse to it that way, or you can drag and drop the file in. So I have my file over here on my desktop. I'm just gonna drag it in, and then I can see that it will upload directly. So of course, this will also take some time depending on the size of the file, but usually it only takes a moment or two.